All right, guys, today is August 3rd, and we have Joe here again. Uh, Joe has a nice shirt on the Virgin Mary de Guadalupe. Yeah, boy! I love, I love this shirt, man. Did you get it blessed, Joe? Uh, no, I didn't get it blessed. You should no. get it blessed by a priest one of these days. It's, okay. it's powerful. I guess, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, that uh, Catholic Family Conference, it's, it's a good to go to. I used to go to the, They have the uh, homeschool conventions there, and uh, my parents, they used to always take me there. And, and I, uh, I mean, they have like cool little, you know, Jesus shirts or Virgin Mary's you can buy there. I'll have to check and rosaries. And it'll yeah. be a fun time. Yeah, I dig the uh, 3D graphic tees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like this polyester too. It's, yeah. it's, it's nice. <laughs> this doesn't wrinkle. Uh, it's uh, nice. Hey. <laughs> All right, Joe. How have you been, man, since, since the last time? I've been good. 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 Just, yeah. How was the daily mass yesterday at the chapel? St. Francis, the St. Francis. Uh, yeah, Hospital. the Chapel of the Sorrowful Mothers. I, I've been. I actually got I my representing it, the Sorrowful Mother, right here. Uh -huh. uh, you're excited from the yesterday daily mass event. Oh and, wow! And look I, at this. I got, I got. Sorrowful uh, look at this. I like this logo, the uh, Virgin Mary M. Right. This I used to work at uh, ca uh, the motherboards. It's a Catholic skateboard company, and they have this logo here. Uh, it's from for, Miraculous uh, Metal. Oh yeah, this is the Miraculous uh, with Mary and the cross. Uh, this this is powerful. But I got uh, I actually got a centerpiece added to this uh, sorrowful mother. It's got a it's got a little droplet of water from Our Lady of Lords, but wow. but it's this this chaplet's all about like. Mary's sorrows, her tears, uh, just just forgiveness for your sins, and so I like to pretend like this little droplet of water. That's that's her tears and stuff. It's yeah. Just, but I thought it was a very unique centerpiece, and, and it didn't have a centerpiece before, and so so I was excited to go to yesterday to the chapel of the Sorrowful Mother, right, and Represent. pray the chaplain <laughs> of the Sorrowful Mother, and just yeah. I mean, it's like bringing it full circle. Yeah, it's like it's meant to be, man. <laughs> Two mothers collided. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your rosary chaplet and the and the church, uh -huh. the sorrowful mother. And now you're tripling up with this. Yeah, Virgin yeah. Mary de Guadalupe. <laughs> I like the roses on the back too. Yeah, Mar Virgin Mary with the crown. Hey, I want I want to get one of these actually. Uh -huh. Match you. <laughs> yeah, we, we could be like twin twins. Uh -huh. <laughs> But the, uh, yeah, uh, today we're reading chapter 10 on second book of Maccabees, purification of the temple and city. Last time with Joe, we read chapter six on the book of Maccabees, on the second book of Maccabees, and that was the temple desecrated. So if you guys remember from last time, it's how, you know, the people defiled the temple, the holy temple of God, the father, and then we read Purpose of Divine Judgment, Martyrdom of Eliezer. And, and then, yeah, so now we're on chapter 10 since then. A couple days passed. Uh, but now we're on chapter 10, Purification of the Temple and City. So how are we going to be pur purifying this holy temple, this holy city of God, with God the Father? We have to, uh, you know, worship in a temple that is holy and sacred. You know, we can't be having uh, profanity, desecration, pagan worship. We, we don't want to be doing that in our holy temple. And that was the last, what it was about, the last chapter. Uh, how they were um, desecrating this, you know, our church. It's it's our holy holy temple of worship. And, and that's where we need to be serving Jesus with all our heart and life and love to be worshiping God the Father all the days of our life in our holy temple purely with our whole heart, our whole life, and our whole body with love and uh, purification in our hearts so that way we may be purified and we can spread the good news to others, our friends and family. And so, would you like to start us off with a prayer, Jim, before we begin? Um, anything yeah the version to the virgin mary you can pray to god the father jesus the archangels any any prayer you'd like um to. okay no i did hear about this one um 
to uh okay so you uh offer offer a prayer you remind john the evangelist was that yeah john the evangelist how his heart left with uh uh sweet fidelity when the lord taught him the our father and uh i guess i guess there's a lot of graces that come with when you intercede through uh um yeah, John the uh, John the Evangelist. And everything. So let's let's try that. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and uh, John the Evangelist. Do you remember how your heart filled with sweet fidelity when the Lord taught us this prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, we're on chapter ten: purification of temple and city. We will begin uh, when Maccabeus and his companions, under the Lord's leadership, had recovered the temple and the city. They destroyed the altars erected by the Gentiles in the marketplace and the sacred enclosures. After purifying the temple, they made a new altar, then with fire struck from flint. They offered sacrifice for the first time in two years, burned incense and lighted lamps. They also set out the showbread. When they had done this, they prostrated themselves and begged the Lord that they might never again fall into such misfortunes. and that if they should sin at any time, he might chastise them with moderation and not hand them over to the blasphemous and Barabbas Gentiles. On the anniversary of the day on which the temple had been profaned by the Gentiles, that is the, 12th, that is the 25th of the same month, which is Lev, the purification of the temple took place, the Jews celebrated joyfully for eight days on the Feast of Booths, Remembering how a little while before they had spent the Feast of Booths living like wild animals in caves on the mountains, carrying rods entwined with leaves, green branches, and palms. They sang hymns of grateful praise to him who had brought about the purification of his own place by public edict and decree they prescribed that the whole Jewish nation should be celebrated these days every year. All right, four or five, uh, six, renewed persecution, death of Ptolemy. Death Here we go, Ptolemy. Ptolemy. We're excited. <laughs> Such was the end of Ant Antichus, surname Epiph Epiphanes. Now we shall re relate what happened under Antichus Ep Epitor, the son of the godless man, and shall give a summary of the chief evils caused by the wars. When Epitor succeeded to the king, he put a certain Lysias in charge of the government as commander-in-chief to Colossarian and Phoenician. Uh, Platinolomy, sir. Man, there's so, so many names. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tal Talimni, uh, surnamed Mac Macron, had taken the lead in treating the Jews fairly because of because the previous injustice that had been done to them, and he en endure, en endeavored to their peaceful relations with them. As a result, he was accused before before uh, Epitor by the king's friends. In fact, on all sides, he heard himself called a traitor for having abandoned Cyprus, who Philom Philometor had entrusted to him. And for having gone over to Ant Antic Antichus Epiphanes, since he could not could not command the respect due to his high office, he ended his life by taking poison. All right, victory uh, over the Edomians when Gorgias became governor of the region. He employed foreign troops and used every opportunity to attack the Jews. At the same time, 
the Edomians, who held some important strongholds, were harassing the Jews. They welcomed fugitives from Jerusalem and endeavored to continue the war. Maccabeus and his companions, after public prayers, asking God to be their ally, moved quickly against the strongholds of the Edomians, attacking vigorously. They gained control of the places, drove back all who manned the walls, and cut down those who opposed them, killing as many as 20,000 men. When at least 9,000 took refuge in two very strong towers, containing everything necessary to sustain a siege, Maccabeus left Simon and Joseph along with Zechariah and his men in sufficient numbers to besiege them, while he himself went off to places where he was more urgently needed. But some of the men in Simon's force, who were money lovers, let themselves be bribed by some of the men in the towers. On receiving 70,000 drachmas, they allowed a number of them to escape. When Maccabeus was told what had happened, he assembled the rulers of the people and accused those men of having sold their kinsmen for money by setting their enemies free to fight against them. So he put them to death as traitors, and without delay captured the two towers. As he was successful at arms in all his undertakings, he destroyed more than 20,000 men in the two strongholds. Victory over Timothy. Here we go, Joe. Okay. Timothy, who had previously been defeated by the Jews, gathered a tremendous force of foreign troops and collected a large number of cavalry from Asia. Then he appeared in Judea, ready to conquer it by force. At his approach, Maccabeus and his, and his men made, made supplication to God, sprinkling earth upon their heads and grinding their loins into sackcloth. Laying prostrate at the foot of the altar, they begged him to be, to be gracious to them and to be an enemy to their enemies and a foe to their foes, as the law declares. After the prayer, he took up their arms and advanced a considerable distance from the city halting what, when, they, when they were close to the enemy. As soon as dawn broke, the armies joined battle, the one, ha the one having as, as pledge of success and victory, not only their valor, but also their reliance on the Lord, and, and the other taking fury as their leader in the fight. In the midst of the fierce battle, there appeared to be an enemy from the heavens, five majestic men riding on gold bridled horses, who led the Jews on. They surmounted Maccabeus and, and shielded him with their own armor, he kept him from, from being wounded. They shot arrows and hurled thunderbolts at the enemies, who, who were bewildered and blinded, thrown into confusion and rooted. 25,000 of their foot soldiers and 600 of their horsemen were slain. Timothy, however, fled to the well-fortified stronghold of Gezara, at where where Teresa was in command. For four days, Maccabeus and his men eager, eagerly besieged the fortress. Those inside, relying on the strength of the place, kept repeating outrageous blasphemies and uttering ab abominable words. When the fifth day dawned, 20 young men in the army of Maccabeus, angered over such blasphemies, bravely stormed the walls wall and and with with savage fury cut down everyone they encountered others who climbed up in up the same way swung or swung around on the defenders taking the besiegers in the rear they put the towers to the torch spread the fire and burned the blasphemers alive still others broke down the gates and let the rest of the troop and, and let in the rest of the troops who took possession of the city Timothy had hidden in a cistern, but they killed him, along with his brother Chereus, the Apollophians. On completing the, their exploits, they blessed with hymns and, pray, and of grateful praise the Lord who shows great kindness to Israel and grants them victory. Powerful. Uh, he grants the chosen of, Tis of Israel victory. That's us Christians. Victorious. We're victorious when we go to the church, his holy temple. It's it's truly really a blessing. I love it. I don't know about you, Joe, but it's I love it. It's powerful. Uh, what do you feel when you go into the church, Joe? Um, I 
I, I, I did go to uh, this one. This one friend asked me to go to this other church not too long ago, and uh, it's nothing like Catholics. I love our stained glass oh, yeah. windows. I love. <laughs> I love our our statues, our our saints, yeah. like like our portraits, everything. It just and then even the the building itself. It just inspires awe. And it's just you know like all all the different angles and the curves of the ch of the of the chapel you know or the the cathedral it's just right. like it's amazing the architecture it alone just inspires me but i think that's about it just feeling inspired i guess yeah. Yeah. inspired at the church yeah all right yeah. well what a way to end after here the daily mass you know mm -hmm. in our holy purified temple of worship and let's worship god the father on this fine day we have the crucifix of Jesus up here, hanging above, which is our favorite here. Jesus dying for us sinners on the cross so that we may be saved to have a chance to enter into him, uh, into the kingdom of heaven with him. If so, God allows us, you know, and to loving God with all our hearts and all our mights. And uh, like, uh, you know, uh, Father Sherlock was saying today, at the homily, we gotta choose a side either loving God or not loving God and so you know are we going to be choose the side of good or the side of evilness to do in our life and sin are we going to choose the sign of sin or to rise up with the sin against the sin with our Holy Spirit and guardian angels within guiding us to go uh, and seek Jesus above all things in our life and so that we will close in a prayer you want to close this again, Drew? Or okay, uh, I have another another way another? to make another way to make the uh, Our Father that much more powerful. Yes, yes. If, like if, if you if you, I think this was given to Saint Gertrude, but if you if you say an Our Father in honor of one saint, that's really good. But if you say the Our Father with the intentions that you set it for every single saint it will be counted as so. So it'd be like saying over 10,000 or plus, like how many saints are there? There, there's so many. But like, if you say it with the intention that you set it for one, for every single saint, it will be counted as so. So, uh, well, it's just, it, I don't know. I think I'm finding like- The saints, they said a lot of our fathers in their lifetime. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And but, do they uh, do they stack? What's each that? Saint, like each saints they stack? In the course of their life, that like they're praying, there are fathers once you pray to them, right? Uh, in heaven, they they pray to Jesus with us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they are I guess our father so. once we say it, right? With them. Uh, yeah, so it's yeah. Like they're interceding with us and praying along with us while we say it, right? Yeah, yeah, with yeah. Them, so because they're already in heaven, right. there are role models right. to get to heaven too. We desire to be like them. Right. Who's your other? Son? The, the first one was Saint John the Baptist. Uh, right? Saint, or Saint John. Saint John the Evangelist. Oh, the Evangelist. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, and that, that one was just like, uh, I think that was, again, given to St. Gertrude, um, that it was, that he, he will, like, fill with, it will, like, help you fill with, like, so many different graces and stuff. But, like, but also, if, if you intentionally say the Our Father as if you said one for every single saint, even though you couldn't, you couldn't possibly say that there many Our so Fathers. Saints, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's too many, too many to count, so... But if you just said it with the intention that you said one for every single saint in their honor, it would be honored as so. It's wow. like one of the one of the promises that, that I read about. I was like, that's that's pretty great, you know. So who's well, your favorite saint then, Joe? Uh, I think. Do you have a favorite saint? I think Philomena was one that came to me recently. I hadn't really heard of her, but but she's a she's a, a wonder worker, just like. Just like, oh, I mean, St. Jude is wonderful, yeah. but like Philomena is another one of those just, just wonder workers where it's like, you can pray to her without fail, you know? Um, Padre Pio is always good, oh, yeah, I love you know? <laughs> He's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what did the St. Philomena do? Uh, she actually, there wasn't anything known about her life all record was lost and uh she's the only saint through um, miraculous intervention she revealed her story to um, 
several people throughout throughout the different parts of the world and they came together and they were like yeah i got visited by this like saint philomena woman wow. and like she told her story to me and stuff and then there was a church like you know like they they needed a, a bot or this guy needed um a church to devote to and like i forget where exactly but just like all of a sudden like all these people have these miraculous experiences through the intercession of saint philomena and wow. so she's kind of become she's become one of those like really powerhouse ones that you can pray to and stuff I, yeah, she's, she's a blessing, man, to uh, our lives. Saint mm -hmm. Philomena. That's that's cool. How she like all parts of the world. That, yeah, I, I, this is my first time hearing about Saint Philomena, mm -hmm. learning about her. But she sounds man, isn't yeah, 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 yeah. She's she's excellent. You want to do this, uh, Our Father, and with uh, for the attention of Saint Philomena? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. That sounds After good to me. Know. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, Lord Jesus, we just uh, offer up this Our Father for um, uh, in, o in honor of Saint Philomena for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alright, we'll see you guys. Thank you, Joe. Yes, always amazing to have you, Mom. <laughs>